Weird fiction is a subgenre of supernatural and horror fiction that dates back to the 19th century and is still enjoyed to this very day. That's right, authors like Robert W. Chambers and H.P. Lovecraft breathe life into the subgenre with The King in Yellow and the entirety of the Cthulhu mythos, respectively. And to this day, weird fiction's influence echoes throughout time and can even be found in contemporary media like Stranger Things. Yep, so to celebrate all things weird fiction, we thought we would take a look at some of the aberrant monsters and rather strange environments in Once Human. So let's start by taking a look at some of Once Human's boss monsters. Boss monsters. Boss monsters. All right, first up, we've got the tree ant, who clearly has some tree ant-like characteristics, but is also very clearly, you know, not not of this world. Uh, you know, definitely, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is more of the kind of demon tree from Evil Dead than it is like friendly old tree beard from Lord of the Rings. This is a very scary tree creature. Yeah, Evil Dead kind of. Uh made trees weird for me and uh this creature will continue to invite that legacy of horror into my brain when trees do stuff other than be trees and take forms that become human-like don't like it it's Not scary and gross and creepy also he's got this like weird little uh you know these things hanging off the top of his head he's got that weird little goatee thing going on with his tree stuff and then he's got four eyes yeah, I don't care if you're a tree or a person. I don't like that. I don't like that little facial hair, that little goatee thing. I don't think anyone can pull that off. All right, here we got the Rabazex, who's clearly got some uh, some demo dog to him. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely getting some kind of lanternfish vibes too, you know, like. But yeah. it's instead of having like a little tiny, you know, little light thing to attract people, he's got this just energy blast of whatever you know cosmic unthinkable power that is, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, still he's got those little uh, those little you know, dangly whiskers there and that giant horrifying mandible. Yeah, plus these, uh, you know, like weird back claws he's got in his hands and feet. He's got this kind of like brolic look to his legs. He's definitely pretty jacked there. And he's got these gross open wound mouth things that look like they might have stitches on them. I, love I can't them. I tell if those beautiful. are stitches or, or teeth. All right, love this one right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful beast. Um, I don't really know what the plan is in terms of this creature living its day to day outside of just killing. Killing seems to be the primary objective here. Uh, we've got this huge claw and a huge minigun, which is great. Just a good thing to have on your arm. I don't know if he put that there himself, if, if he actually fell asleep next to it and it grew in, like kind of got grafted, or uh, if you know, this is just a horrible experiment and he wants no part of it. So he's just going to do the best he can and kill everyone. Oh, okay. all right. We, we love it. We love the, it. I don't No, Thank you. This is an Araxium and clearly there are some uh, spider influences, thus the Iraq and also thus the me being deeply uncomfortable because I don't like those things with the eight legs. No, thank you. Yeah, this is a, you know, like this is a, a basically a big collective of, of various phobias here. You've got the tryptophobia thing, which is like the, the weird circles in the back. Um, I have a fear of um, women women's hair in the shower drain because I have to clear, clear that out every now and then. That's gross. And so this one's got like it's got a full on like human head, I believe, with hair. Uh, it's It's got this big pussy butt full of green circles that are like say that disgusting oh, what they're what do you they're come on what is that that's disgusting and then you've got that little elephant trunk Ov nose is, i think it's called like an ovipositor yeah it's like it's like what the queen alien has it's the big egg sack bloop, yes bloop, bloop. Um, yeah, can we look at can we look at something else please thank you okay perfect um yeah now we're getting a look at some environments uh, this one's really cool. This is a uh, dilapidated gas station um, that has been overrun by weird floating creature people. They're they're human-esque for sure, but they've got some very not-so-human elements to them, such as uh, the elongated limbs and weird dangly fingers. Um, some of them are even missing body parts, which uh, I guess is, you know, it's, it's helping them to float because you can get around a little easier. Yeah, this is giving me some uh, some Stranger Things vibes for sure. Like you definitely have more of a sense of this being sort of small town America or wherever. This is like, where are we? Eh, seems pretty safe to assume this is this is this is Earth, and it's uh, a place where there used to be gas stations, but now things have gone somewhat literally sideways. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my. Oh boy. Okay, so right off the bat, Blood Lake or Pus or some sort of horrible, toxic, weird, viscous, disgusting liquid that has covered the earth during a rainstorm. And uh, we've got flying tentacle octopus monsters in the sky. Mm -hmm. And then people in, in just mucking around down there uh, looking for something. I don't know. Yeah, I think they might be trying to looking for a way out or th what is that like a golden corral? There's a sign up there. It looks like they're trying to go get a bite. But uh, yeah, no, this is this is very much quite literally drenched in ichor, which is yeah. one of the most the one of the tenets of like Lovecraftian stuff is really it's a fancy, you know, fancy way of saying slime. Uh, and yeah. then over on the on the right here, you've got like there's there's stuff growing. There's like yeah. there's like sort of sort of plant seems like the wrong word. But it's giving me, again, with the Lovecraft kind of color out of space. Like it's this, something came from far away and now it's it's proving to be quite an invasive species of some sort. It's just growing every which way. There's like little tendrils and things. It looks like there's kind of spores around the, the light up there. Uh, and you know, lightning, why not? Weird fiction will continue to spread its influence on all of pop culture for eons to come. So check it out yourself when Once Human releases on PC sometime soon. For everything monsters, you're already in the right place. IGN. Can't spell monsters without IGN. It's not even remotely true, but you can try. <laughs>